Timmy, you keep looking at me like that. I'm gonna get a kiss on the lips. Sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's an angry I'm kiss. A, I'm a very angry flirter. <laughs> uh, so last episode, we had some... Uh, <laughs> the the Kezer Adelar adventures, yeah, <laughs> and the frogs. and the yeah in the subterranean uh, underground of uh, b- behind Citadel Alterine, fought some Blindheims. Uh, we all experienced a few things. Uh, Benson, I'm sure, wakes up in a cold sweat. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, Hear, hearing hearing some voices at night that know your name. Also, you're not done with them. Yep. Um, would do you think Benson would know where that came from? Uh, the voice was familiar. Yeah, yeah. But today, I want to do a little thing where uh, I, I, I never went at home. I, I, I want you to hold a metaphorical remote and hit the fast forward button as we fast forward twelve days. Wow. <laughs> Uh, you, you see it. Uh, you know what? No, no, let's do a montage. Yeah. <laughs> do a montage. Uh, the, uh, we, need, we, need, we need some montage music, Tim, where, where we see, you know, we, we see Kezra making alchemy and Adelard doing his scribing and Elkwood. Doing whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> doing whatever. Don't worry about it. Oakwood doing shifty things, and when Benson walks by, he like he, he <laughs> smiles ben, and waves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Benson look, look, looks down the hallway, and Elkwood's not there. And he's like, I "Thought I saw somebody." <laughs> then Benson gets angry at something, tries to punch something in the face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, you see the you see the, the the dwarves yelling at goblins on what to do, and the goblins are like, "I don't speak dwarvish." <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not speaking dwarvish. I'm speaking common. Uh, Pip drops one of my uh, my beakers from my alchemical kit, and I just <laughs> kick him across the room. <laughs> <laughs> he, he bounces around like Toad from Luigi's Mansion. Yep. I pick him up by the neck of the center claw gauntlet, gauntlet and just <laughs> screaming at him. <laughs> it's uh, and like you just see Hel- Helga and Helba and like her cousin coming down. Oh like, yeah. Warble's like. No, no, do this, do this. <laughs> yeah, the, they're they're all uh, they're, uh, everybody's helping out, and it's all it's all a, it's all a sweet movie montage. Uh, but uh, you, you also see um, Adelar just every day. He takes a horse to Breach Hill, and he goes into this legal office, just just scribbling and drawing on documents all day, and then bleary eyed, he makes his way back to the city. <laughs> so that's like at the start and the end of every montage day. <laughs> And like it's papers to a little goblin lawyer. (laughs) (laughs) It's just stamps. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, Jane Jane, Jane looks at it and goes, "Yeah, you you know, if if you if you if you cross this out, you you need to you need to date it and and initially, right?" Uh, uh, Just, uh, I'm sorry. Well, I, I'm not going to notarize this. All right, so, so go go get a copy of it. Go get a fresh copy. Fill it out again, and then I'll notarize it. This is easily the most entertaining part of our podcast. <laughs> I'm trying to find montage music. Can you just like uh, YouTube 80s montage music? I, copyrights, <laughs> man. I, <laughs> well, you get like 10 seconds until you have to pay a copyright. <laughs> well, this isn't YouTube too. We're not making money. Yeah, true. Uh, there was there was one time I, I made a Heroes video and I used the uh, 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 Curb Your Enthusiasm music. At the moment that I published it, it was like it was copyright strict. Yes. <laughs> no, you gotta ra- raise the pitch of the song. Yeah. Um. So within these twelve days, let's talk about what our characters have been doing. Uh, so Timmy, uh, you've been or Adelar has been scribing <laughs> as earned income. Is that correct? Yes, and um, we set the Jake set the DC and the level. I rolled. I got a crit success on the roll, so I got to actually make a little extra coin. So I made a total of 18 gold over the past 12 days. Mm. It's a significant amount of money. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's a good, that's a good amount mean, of money. Adelar's services are quite good because he has been dealing with the church's legal documentation. And, you know, uh, the temples of Abadar, they're a place of mediation as well. So he's, he's seen his fair so share of documentation. Your supervisor, uh, after your first day, is just like, your, your handwriting is impeccable. <laughs> Why, thank you. I was taught by the finest priests in Cheliax. 
Well, uh, that 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 would be something we can talk about later. Uh, but uh, go ahead and, and head home, and you know, the, the hands of your money. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, so you're doing in- earned income, Kezra. What have you been doing for twelve days? Kezra's been brewing potions in the in uh, the old Hell Knight preparation room. Uh, so I brewed a buttload of Dragonheart mutagens, and I brewed some poison there for elk. Mm-hmm. Ah, very cool. Um, Benson? Benson has just been helping out when he can, but any time he has spare moments, or when it looks like the dwarves don't need help, mm-hmm. he is training in the courtyard and praying. All right. So, uh, and every now and then doing some forums and stuff like that while the, uh, while the dwarves are on break. Um, one of them goes up and tries to spar with you, but uh, you're you know, clearly better than him. <laughs> <laughs> you punch him in the throat immediately, you're like, get out of my face. He's like, oh, they're blasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was normally like a training blow for <laughs> me, but... <laughs> Expect the unexpected. Yeah. Uh, and Elk? Uh, he's basically doing whatever to help out, honestly, since he can lift... Like, lift things or move things around. Okay. Uh, just, just, just helping out the dwarves as well. Just yeah. Kind of, yeah. And he's been sending letters every so often. Not using uh, Warble. He's okay. just sending physical letters. Actual letters, too. yeah. And uh, occasionally trying to work up the courage to something that he wants to talk to uh, Adelar about. Uh, to teach him Elvish. Oh, yeah. yeah. But he's kind of... Not ashamed, but he just doesn't know how to exactly come up and say, like, Hey, I don't know Elvish. <laughs> I'm a half-elf. <laughs> I want to learn. So, And he knows that he's uh, a scribe. So so he's been kind of just doing all over the place. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, so at he's, night. Because he's capable of learning. Right. So, so Adelar, are you, you going to teach him some Elvish at night? So, yeah, I'm sure like one of the days when um, Adelar comes back from... Eight hours of scribing. Um, it looks like uh, Elkwood wants to say something to me. Like, oh, uh, Elkwood, what's uh, so something you'd like to ask me? And you seem, you seemed like you were expecting me. Why? Well, yeah, and like he's like waiting right outside of your quarters, just kind of like tapping his feet, just like, all right, where is he? And he's like, says, yes. Uh, to be quite honest, I'm wanting to learn Elvish. If that is something you would l- be interested in doing, of course. Oh, yes, of course. I am. Um, uh, being as we are from similar heritage, I, I, I'd be delighted. I'd be, be honored to teach you more about uh, the Elven language. It is a, a beautiful language. Um, I, I don't want to pry, but uh, I guess you never really had anyone to, to teach you growing up. No. I see. None. I see. Actually, I've never met an elf until prior until you actually uh there's oh well i mean the occasional merchants but i mean right they don't really i i never really had a second thought of it but now ever since seeing the ring of alceta it just feels impertinent to learn oh yes a- yes well yeah I'm, I'm sure we can we can study at night together um uh just to clarify uh my, my father was human in my my mother was elf, so I, I am not full elf, but uh, my mother taught me well about heritage, my heritage, and all the lore that comes along with elves, as lo- along with the language. But, uh-huh. Yes, I would be, I'd be happy to teach you. And he's like, oh, uh, we'll start uh, over here. And he's like, ah, oh, good thing I got that chalkboard from town. <laughs> <laughs> Never know when you need one. <laughs> you wheel it all the way back yourself. <laughs> And already of he's not. I had a, you know, a cart or something. <laughs> yeah, it's like already. He's, yeah, he's like already. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> At any uh, point, learning. Do, do they see Benson train? Oh yeah, I'm sure. I mean, you just ignore you. Yeah, if you're <laughs> training, yeah. Ke- well, been retraining into toughness, so he needs to take a beating to retrain. <laughs> to it, so. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> so for a week straight, you did Benson just punches Kezra in the chest. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm thinking like, all right, how do you retrain into toughness? <laughs> Get beat over the head with a board <laughs> so for a week. Harder. So something, <laughs> you'll, something you'll notice: anytime Benson does a form or like restarts into a new movement he has a very specific way he resets um he plants his feet together holds the kite shield over his heart brings out his sword arm 90 degrees but holding the blade of the sword downwards 
and he bows his head, raises the sword above his head, and then begins the form. Mm. Hmm. Neat. Very cool. And then he just beats Kezra with yes. the shield. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> sure hurt. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this. <laughs> Adelar, need healing. <gasps> you see, like, and beats like, him like late at night when we're all eating um, uh, dinner and stuff, Kezra is just, he's all bruised <laughs> and, like, he just looks like he's just, like, doubled over. And I'm then genuinely see, in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and then you, you see poor Elkwood, he's, like, holding his head just like, from oh all learning, like, oh. <laughs> And right, like, don't don't like, heal me. Leave it. <laughs> like I'm learning. Oh. I need this. And then Adelar's like, oh, I don't have any strength left in my hands to heal. And his hands are just like shaking from all this grabbing. <laughs> and meanwhile, of course, uh, Benson, he just looks like he's the picture of perfect health. <laughs> he's got a big smile on his face. He just yeah. beats Kezra yeah. with it. <laughs> yeah, it's like all the times that like Elk may have seen him. He was just like, ah, maybe I should try turning with him. And it's like. <laughs> he seems to be having fun. Uh, like as much as he'd be interested, he's like, "Well, uh, Kesra kind of is taking the initiative on that one." <laughs> just like, oh, Elkwood, have you gotten to that homework I signed yet?" What homework? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. And he's, and he's like, like looking at one of the goblins. He's like, I thought you did. The <laughs> <laughs> I, I I can't read. <laughs> this goblin ate my homework. <laughs> the goblin ate my homework. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. He actually did. <laughs> So yeah, he's the, learning. the days go by with this whole montage. Um, and uh, after a time, you guys do eventually clear out. You, you, clean, you clean up Citadel Alterine. You uh, get everything pretty much ready for the dwarves, uh, for Rorsk and his team, um, to start working on, on, all, on all this kind of stuff. Um, do uh, you want to want them to start repairing the walls? I assume first. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, they they, uh, they get somebody to go down and uh, and he sends two guys down to go get more more stone uh, so they can start working on stuff, um, and they start working on that for the day. Hmm. Kenzer, you tried to fix the portal at one point. Do you want to tell tell the class about that? Um. Yeah. Would would we want to disclose that information or not? I mean, if they don't ask. Yeah. So now. Okay. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> all right. So um, the way is clear down to uh, uh Alcetta's ring. Do you guys want to go down there? Do you want to yeah. try to? You can try again. You know. Yeah. So then, yeah. Well, we all get down there, and Kesar gets up to the gate. Okay. And he's like, alright, let's try this again. What? <laughs> what? Oh. Yep. Yeah. We tried this before. We we snuck down here when you weren't looking when you were sleeping. You know, it's not the safest thing to do. <laughs> it's alright, we we killed some things. You know. Uh. Some frog frog guys. Damn it, not well. boggards, they were they were new frog guys with you know, light bulbs for eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the, the fuck is a light bulb? <laughs> I don't know, it just came to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ding, there it is. <laughs> And the light bulb was such a good idea, it became the symbol of good ideas. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will try another crafting. Knock it out, you got this. That'll be a 21. 21 total? 21 total. That is a failure. Oh Whoa, God. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! Before before we do this, I just want to make sure because I didn't do I didn't look at my spells for today. I just want to quickly go over to see if there's like a some sort of spell that might help with this. You have spell of mi- fix magical portal. I mean, I might have a spell of like help with skill checks. Uh, it's called you, guidance. You said well, uh, gu- yeah. guidance only lasts a round, though. I, I kind of doubt. That. Yeah, yeah it, it takes it takes uh, an hour to do. So you, you said uh, thievery works, right? Uh, thievery does work. That's um, interesting. That? But That's we can't weird. we can't work on it again until twenty four hours. Twenty four hours. Uh, let's see, let's see what it says. Um, so repair the hunter gate. It says you use it. You use the hunter's arrowhead to guide the missile and magic of the hunter gate back to the proper pathways through the stone's intricate carvings and decorations. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, it would be a thievery check to pick the lock. I'm going to say I'm going to say you can do it, only because it's a different kind of check. Okay. So that's probably not correct, but I'm all for just skipping that bullshit, so go ahead. All right. Knock it out, man. Uh, so he's going to... Cash what? Then you ask for the key. He, he goes to hand it to you, but he drops it. <laughs> it he's, he's drooling a little bit. Is that a slight? <laughs> <laughs> you're like literally drooling <laughs> oh uh, that's what it, happens when you fail it, it really hurts <laughs> if, you, if you don't do it right and he make kind of, it, it literally just like fumbles through his fingers <laughs> <laughs> gate make pain in head <laughs> so he is going to roll a thievery check he's just going to look at symbols because I don't recognize any of this because the, my teacher sucks <laughs> um, <laughs> looks and rolls Oh, fuck, that's a 16. Oh, it's a 16? Yes. Yeah, you are still not a critical fail, but... Uh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I actually it, want a critical fail just to know, see what happens. I know, uh, me right? too, but... <laughs> it's 10 or more. Right? Maybe I can fix it with my sword. <laughs> Benson, yeah, attack Benson, it. You, you go ahead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Benson's known for his... Theory as well. Uh, nope. Yeah, he's just on. So it's clumsy two for an hour. And... Yep, clumsy two for one hour. Oh. So, so the two of you try it and just. Well, better I, luck. And you sit down. <laughs> better luck later. Rinaldi's there, just like. We're never going to get home. <laughs> <laughs> this is really hard. <laughs> Not exactly my area of expertise. Oh, well, what are you saying? Because well, you are a master crafter. I'm sure you can fix this in due time. Uh, I'm an expert in crafting, but I have a zero in intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. I am not spec'd for crafting. I, I'm just good at it. <laughs> you know what they say? Every every time you make a failure, you just discovered right, one uh, more way of not to do something. Let's see if I can buy something to give me a, give me some help. Right, we could always ask cool. the wizard they have. In the town. There's a crafter's goggles, I think. Gives you a plus one to crafting. There's a uh, sterling artisan's tools. Oh, they're 50 bucks. 50 gold. 50 G. That gives you plus one to, ch- to <laughs> crafting. Make me a society check. You are working with stone. Me? Okay. Yeah, anybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who oh, goes to society? Shit. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh, all right, what, what, do I, what do I think I know about this? Oh, was that a natural one for Adelaide? Yes. Uh, you're like, damn it, if Vaz was here, <laughs> Vaz we could know. just be nice and non, she would do it. Non-natural 20. Uh, and BDDC 12. Uh-huh. Beautiful. To recall that there are stonemasons who you actually have upstairs. Oh, right. Oh. And this is a stone archway. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarves! Benson puts two and two together. <laughs> you st- face palm. <laughs> I'm going to get the dwarves. <laughs> uh, so you so. go get Rorsk and he's like, wait, you want me to what? Yeah, there's a stone archway downstairs we're trying to repair. Uh, just like to your bedroom or something? or is this- No, yes. it's think it's to the Mwangi Expanse. That's, uh, that's like a really long tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but using uh, magical gobbledygook, you can make a long tunnel, a small one. I, 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 I just need to come see this. <laughs> uh, so he walks down and he's just like, Ugh. It, <sighs> You see Kesra drooling and I'm like, pat- <laughs> and Elk's like passed on one of the benches. Just yeah, like, he, he's fl- arm, arm flopped he's over. Literally <laughs> looking at this and he's like, uh, uh, Listen, I, I, I could give it a shot, but uh, it, it's going to be expensive. And how much is that? Hundred gold. Ooh, well, uh, I, can hear I, I, I could try again. I haven't been rolling well. <laughs> <laughs> I can just try again tomorrow. <laughs> I'll tell you what. We'll uh, we'll keep that in mind. I, I, you know, it might take me a day, but we 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 could certainly take a day off to come down here and work on this. This looks. He's like looking up and down at it, just like this is definitely something we've never had to do before. So. We're not in any hurry, so 50 gold, or 100 gold is way too much. We're not uh, at least tapping her feet. So, <laughs> screw her. So, um, yeah. She was already waiting. <laughs> Wait long. So if we come down tomorrow, I can try again. I can try again. You can, you can try again, or you can even try to aid me. 
I think um, mm. in, in the interest of kind of dividing and conquering, Adelar is probably going to go back and work work the 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 law the law desks while um, you guys are working on this. I don't know how many how many days we're going to spend on this. So I might as well make some gold while we're waiting. <laughs> that is it takes. <laughs> so I'll, I'll run my. Uh, all right, all right. So next roll. day. Uh, next day, uh, Oakwood. Did you want to do a little investigating tonight? Oh yes. It's like once he like gets, regains feeling back in his arm, he's just like yeah, crack. <laughs> oh. it's, it, it's it stops wobbling like a noodle. Oh, I already know what type of feeling. It's like you know when you hit your funny bone really hard, oh, and, and it, like everything oh, just sucks. That yeah, is the yeah, worst. Yeah, and, but I imagine that for like an hour straight. Yeah, just oh, it feels gross. Yeah, just chop my arm off. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Can I buy a potion from the alchemist if he's still in town? Uh, yeah, sure. Does he have a cognitive mut- mutagen? Uh, let That's me roll of any level. <laughs> I'll take the minimum requirement. It's fine. Uh, he does have one. You can purchase one. Lesser, the, the, the lowest. Yeah, the, yeah, okay. the lesser. All right, I will buy one. Did you want to try to get the formulae as well? I have it. Oh, but that would take me four days right. to craft it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, four days. Yeah, take at least four days to craft. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'd rather just buy one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, the cost of convenience. Um, all right, so Elk. Yes. He is currently in a Citadel, and he is going to... Where is Benson right now at this point? Is Probably he's... in his section trying to sort things out. Just politely knocks on the door. Just because, you know, he's trying to be genuine. He's like, yeah, knock, Benson! Benson! Knock on the door, and Benson literally walks five feet to the side and comes out the hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smart ass, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Elkwood. Yes. So, uh, remember that that um, deal that there was a something going on in the basement of that other construction stone? Yes, yes. You told him we'd look into that. I'm thinking tonight would be a good idea. Do you want to get the others? No. Hm. Interesting. All right. Let's That's too go. many people if we're working on stealth. I mean, it's honestly. Well, I'm glad you came to me. Yes. <laughs> Take off your armor. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, you could just stay outside and make sure no one comes in. Uh, all right. So you guys are uh, you guys head o- head down to Breach Hill. Um, I mean, not being super stealthy about it. So I mean, if everyone. So it's like, but he's like, yeah, just heading. Right, going off on quote errands is not uncommon yeah. for people right now. So errands, <laughs> I'll pick up some cookies. What? Going shopping. Um, so you guys end up at the Pasandi Bros shop. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and take yourselves to roll twenty. The twins. Oh the twins. wow! Oh god. That's the outside. So you guys see, it's a storefront. Uh, it looks pretty nice. Um, it's decorated with like it's it's stone, um, but there there's like uh, there's like a hint of like gothic archi- uh, architecture uh, within it. So, so some of the pillars have like nice like jagged edges and stuff like hmm. that. It, it looks cool. Um, I like it. But uh, yeah, what do you guys want to do? Uh, he wants. Elkwood is going to tell Benson to obviously hold up because he knows he's not super stealthy. But he's like, I think it would be good if you wait outside, perhaps as a distraction if anyone decides to come out, but at least to keep things on the storefront while I check out the back. All right, we need a. Uh, we should have a code word. You scream out if you get in trouble. Probably help me. I'm in trouble. Yes. Works out. Good. Call. Call, 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 call. <laughs> Tweet. <laughs> Rutabaga. Rutabaga. <laughs> it's like, what? What? <laughs> Adler's down, downstairs in the basement and it sort of like powers down for a second. <laughs> what? Uh, what did he know? Uh, he's on a stealth realm. Okay. So, uh... Oh, natural 16, so... Um, all right, so you stealth around the building. Um, you go completely unnoticed. Um, and uh, he's really just looking. So if he was uh, heard about this basement. Um, if there was like an outside door leading to the basement, I forget what they're 
the like the shutter doors. Oh uh, right, yeah, the, yeah, the big like two iron. Yeah, yeah. The, the, um, no, you did not find anything like that. Any windows? Uh, any small gates? Uh, there are uh, there are windows around here, um, but when you do look in, uh, it looks to be pretty pretty commonplace uh, hmm. uh, sort of rooms. Um, you don't see anything out of the ordinary uh, as you walk around. Uh, there is a guy at the front desk. Uh, he's sitting there reading the book. Uh, it's, it's not that... It's, God, I can never remember his name, but Mel Gibson? It's not Mel Gibson. Uh, no, it, it is not, uh, it is not uh, uh, Quintina Passandi. It's um, not Passandi. You know him to be uh, uh, Mr. Passandi's nephew. Oh, boy. Uh, Frederick is his name. So, from the outside, can he, uh, I guess, do a perception check to see if there's anything he can fear here from the outside of the building? Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and, and roll perception May check. May I do yeah. that, too? Yeah. Ooh. 16 again. Uh, it'd be a 20... 26. 24. Uh, you do hear uh, a certain uh, nephew is sitting there. He's sort of just like singing a song. But beyond that, you do hear what sounds like almost like a uh, like a like a trap door in the floor. It sort of sounds like a very heavy wooden like chunk, chunk, and it gets locked. Hmm. So you can't tell where it is. Interesting. Uh, he is going to. Uh, since he has to see in the back. So there's a trap door. He's going to kind of relay that to Benson because there seemed to be a trap door. It just recently got locked. But I don't hear anything of what the the dwarf was saying about... He, he, said, he said screaming, right? Or like something... Uh, like the, he, he was pretty vague about it. He, he just said suspicious noises. Uh, it's probably a birthday party down there or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my nephew's surprise birthday party! Uh, you hear somebody open up a Tickle Me Elmo? <laughs> oh. oh, that's valuable right there. <laughs> um, let's see. He's... He and there was no other way in to get in right? from the outside. Just one, the front door? Uh, there is a... Uh, there's an entrance towards the back up here on the eastern oh, side well, okay. that looks to be... Uh, it, it looks to be uh, like a big wooden, like... Uh, almost like a, like a cattle gate. Um, but it opens up into a yard in which they do some of some of the stone working. Uh, he is going to. Uh, is it locked? Uh, no, no, it, it's not locked. So I can. So he could see in there, then, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. If, if you go ahead and take a peek, I will go ahead yeah. and show you that area. Stealthily peek, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it opens up, and you see what looks to be. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. So you see a yard. Um, like I said, it has it has just a lot of like uh, like stoneworking and uh, masonry equipment, um, different supplies and stuff like that. Uh, some uh, unhewn rocks and also some uh, some pretty ni- nice looking worked on ones. What's that? Uh, it looks to be a small closet, and it's a it's a simple wooden door on the. Uh, uh, on it, so it's a little like five by five square that you can see, but I can't see through. Okay, you well, can, so I wouldn't be can, able to see. Well, it if, if you're just peeking in there, no, you, okay. you you would have to go up to that door to see. Any people? No, no people. It, it, it looks to be what? looks to be pretty quiet right now. What time at night? It's like nine, right? Yeah, it's like nine or ten. So yeah. there, are, people are most likely gone, but still, he's going to stealthily, I guess, uh, try to slip through the door. Let's... Okay, uh, go ahead, and make me a stealth check. Oh boy. This is where it all goes wrong. <laughs> While you're doing this, Benson, what are you uh, doing? Oh, that's fine. Um, so he he's trying to sneak in, right? Yes. yes. I'm gonna walk into the shop. Okay. So uh, you walk up, and the the, nep- the, nep- the nephew is just like, "Oh, uh, hi. How how can I help you? Do you, what do you? What do you God, what did I want? What do you want me to say? Uh, can I help you? Um, yes, I believe you can. So I hear you want to sell statuary here. Uh, yeah, that's sort of my uncle's deal. I could... Well, that's great. Can I speak to him? I sort of, like, looks to the back. I don't think he's here. Uh, can I figure out if he's lying or not? Yeah, go ahead and roll perception check. 27, by the way, stealth. Okay. 19. 19, uh... It looks like one of those things where say, where somebody's like, if somebody asked, uh, uh, I'm not here. <laughs> you get the feeling he was sort of told something like that. Oh, I know. Well, that's a that. shame because I really, I really want to get something built. 
I've heard you guys are good at it. Uh, yeah, we're we're good. Uh, he, hold on, I think I heard him. Let me go see if he got back from the store. And he goes in the back, and you, you hear, what? Why is he here so late at night? Right. Oh, fine, fine, fine. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Pastani comes out. Ooh. Okay, I'm essentially just trying to give him as much time right. as possible. So, so uh, talking about all different kinds of statuary I might yeah. be interested in he, to he, adorn he, he, my he starts, getting, with. he starts getting pissed off because you keep using different stone after you agreed on another <laughs> one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, do you want granite or not? No, I want... <laughs> I want Benson's like, if this guy's clean, I'm very, very sorry. But if you're dirty, <laughs> squirm, you worm. Uh, all right, Elkwood, so, you get into this park? The, this area. So there's no one out here. And yep. Distraction. And he's on do perceptions as well, just this here if there's any other movement. Okay. Uh, 19. Uh, so a nineteen, uh, you, you you can hear you, you can hear them them talking in the front, so you, okay. you feel like you got some time. Okay, uh, he's on move up to here. Uh, okay, so uh, the room or the little five foot square thing—it was an outhouse, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and you walked up, you smelled it, and you were like, Ugh. "Yeah." Uh, all right, so you go up to the next door. So this door leads into pretty much the back room. Uh, it looks like a mud room as you as you kind of as you kind of uh, walk in. Mm-hmm. Um, Nothing. Yep. So it, 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 like I said, it pretty much just looks like a mud room. Uh, there, there's, a, a, you see, like a, a coat hanger, and it has, uh, it has like work aprons and stuff on it, and there's like other tools and stuff like that. Uh, he's continued to self throughout and peeking around the this door. Uh, okay, you peek in that door, and you see what looks to be a larger room. Oh, sure. um, this looks to be where uh, they 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 have uh, what looks to be just like actual like uh, uh, foodstuffs and everything like that, different grains and everything. Uh, this looks to be their dining room. Um, you do see a woman as she walks upstairs, and she walks to the east, uh, but she has not noticed you. So she's upstairs right now. Yeah, she yeah she she's upstairs. So it looks it looks co- totally clean down here. So he's gonna wait until she disappears and then check out this door here um as you walk past go ahead and make uh, as you stealth. walk over there make me a uh yeah make me a stealth first uh 24 uh they are completely distracted um and then make me a perception check as well Ugh, shit, 13 yeah 13 uh you look in it looks to be a kitchen there's like a little like brick, uh, brick oven over here, um, and you know lots of uh, hmm. uh, prepped food. He's like, a, he, he, and he's like racking his mind. He's like, I've heard that click. Uh, yeah, and I wouldn't have seen from the front where he entered. I'm assuming he came from this door, but I don't know. Right. What this place is right here. Hmm. So. I hear black granite is very popular right now. <laughs> yeah, I just hear that one. <laughs> yeah, it it is. However, we, uh, we would have we would have to order it. It, it. It's 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 quite popular and therefore hard to get. Uh, <laughs> do, do you mind paying an, an expedited price for it? It, it? it will cost an an exorbitant amount of money. And what were you asking for again? You wanted us to make what again? Oh, a giant horse with a man atop. <laughs> <laughs> what, what sort of dimensions are we are we talking here? They start babbling on again yeah. as 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 the as the context of what he once made changes once again. Yeah, uh, he's going to change. Uh, look in this room a little. What bit. we started talking about a giant turtle. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's going to look inside this room a little bit more because he's see like anything that resembles maybe a trapdoor because like this you don't sure if there's something underneath. Uh, okay, so uh, you uh, you walk into the kitchen. Like I said, it it looks like a pretty Just regular a regular kitchen. Um, as you walk by, uh, the woman comes from downstairs and she walks out to the front. So Benson, you now see her, and she goes into this room, which looks to be just a regular closet. All right. Uh, so Elk is going to. Uh, he doesn't see that, but he's going to leave this room because he's like, I don't see a trapdoor. Okay. Um, he. I'm going. I'm like. I'm not trying to meta game on this, but mm. like he knows he's heard a trap door. Oh yeah. And a trap door would have to go underground, not upstairs. Correct. So he knows that it's not upstairs, but he's like, "Where other room is there? What other room is there? Shit." Uh, uh, make me another perception check. Well, like while you're just like looking around to see if you can. Eighteen. 
18. Um, uh, this box over here, over here in the top right corner of the yeah. center room, looks as if it looks as if it looks as if it was moved recently. Uh, he's going to inspect it immediately. Okay. So, perception again. Yep. Oh my God, 14. Uh, you go over to it, and as you sort of look it over and you open it, it's not a box as much as it is a raised trap door. Oh boy! So you open it, and then it actually opens up into a and it opens up into a staircase that goes down. It is light at all? Uh, there's a, there's a dull red light. So oh, Jesus. my my low light vision be fine then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, he's going to like look. And he's like, okay. And descend. And carefully close the door. Kids be yelling. <laughs> I know, right? I'll read it then. Alright, so you close the door. I make a make a stealth check. Ooh. Uh nineteen. Uh yeah, you're fine. Um, <laughs> like- Hey, my best skill. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, that, that's why I decided to do this for yeah, you. Yeah, I like uh, it. It's like very hitman ass. So, you go down, and you look, and you see what looks to be probably the creepiest thing you've seen in this town. You're alone. <laughs> that's fine. There is a, there is a, a, there's a symbol drawn on the floor, and there are candles. And there is some paraphernalia of Almost seemingly hell nightish hmm. proportions, where there are different like iron chains hanging up places with like you know some like skulls attached and things. It's like it's creepy. Right. Uh, what else is in that room? Like because he, he's looking at that and he's like, does it resemble like the pentacle like from the Hell Knight Hill? It looks similar to that. Yeah. So he's like, like, and he's trying to remember. He's like, oh, Asmodeus. Like, after dealing with a lock, he's like, yes, Modius. Um, chains, blood, ever, anywhere? Uh, no, you don't see anything like that. It looks, it, it, it looks, it looks pretty bare. It almost, lo- it almost looks like a shrine more often. To us, Modius. Like, the thing is, he's not really trained in religion. He only knows a couple little things, so it's like, uh, anything going candles, you said, but there's nothing? Nothing else? No bodies? <laughs> no bodies. But nothing Slightly like shocked. So he's looking around, just taking documentation of it. Um, uh, there's a roll perception to see if there's anything hidden in the room. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, go, and, go and roll perception. Because like right now, it's like natural life form at this point. Mm-hmm. Oh, beautiful. Uh, 25. Uh, 25, you look around, it, nothing looks hidden, uh, you think because this place was pretty well hidden, yeah. so they didn't have a reason to put a secret stash of things down here, so you kind of, like, look around, um, so is there nothing to hide behind, just in case, or, cause, like, at no, this point, no, he's it's, like, it's, it's, it, it, it's a, it's a pretty simplistic room. Yeah, at this point, he's going to, uh, hope that... Benson has pissed him off enough that he's going to try to get tossed out. Okay. So he's going to wake his, make his way back up. Okay. Uh, so as you do that, mm. Benson, Mr. Pisandi is, is just like, <sighs> Frederick, just write down literally anything this man says. I will be right back. And he starts walking towards the back. Um, if you would please stay still. <sighs> and does he turn around and meet me? He's he he's like shakes his head for a second and continues walking. I said, stay, and that I'm attempting to intimidate. All right, go ahead and try to intimidate Mr. Pasandi. <laughs> Twenty six. The critical success. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, <sighs> what? What do you want? What? I just want you to stay there for a little bit, and these other good good people as well. <laughs> Uh, that's a 32 for stealth. So as Elkwood is walking out, Mr. Pisandi literally was like holding the door open as he was about ready to walk through, and he turns to you, still holding the door open, and you see Elk just scamper up out of a box and jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> you may go about your day. I literally spin around and just walk out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, the only shame is that like he didn't want to go didn't go upstairs or eh. seeing that whatever that. I think is. we found the yeah the, thing. the, the, the hidden thing. <laughs> But 
it's more like what this dude was doing. Like, if it was like Hell Knight, Hill, shit. Like, you said like Hell Knight, which I'll relay mm -hmm. to him. But like, once again, like, I'll get out of there first. Yeah. Um, and meet up with Benson a little bit further away. So, just in case he's still like looking out the window and like, what the hell's going on? He's so, like, you see that, and how do you disengage from this Benson? I, I'm just, I walk out. You just, <laughs> out. You just, you just walked out. Yeah. <laughs> just what the fuck that guy that like. <laughs> Lovely human being. <laughs> just walk into the worst customer. Yeah. Yep. To ever walk into and walk into Pisani I present. walk in, threaten you, and leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talk to you. Also order nothing. Yep. <laughs> oh, he ordered stuff. He just kept changing. It. <laughs> uh, He's like, all right, so we have like 30 orders for 15 different pieces of stone. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it on uh, Adelar's tab. Until <laughs> uh, we get away. Yep. Yeah. And he's going to relay. He's like, there seemed to be a pentagram down there of uh, similar to the one that we saw on Hill Night Hill, honestly. More devils. Yes. I mm. uh, don't know. Honestly, there was nothing else in that room besides candles. So maybe he was just a, a worshiper of uh, Asmodeus. But I, there was no blood. There was no... There was chains, you said, right? Yeah, like yeah, sh yeah, shackles. Yeah, there, yeah, there, there were. Uh, no, just like uh, aesthetic just, chains. Ah, uh, aesthetic chains. There was aesthetic chains, but <laughs> not ones being used for people. <laughs> well, flavor chains. Flavor, flavor chains. chains. <laughs> flavor chains. I say we couldn't uh, report this to the council. I mean, for worship as modius. I mean, it's simply like. I mean, think of what Adelos from the Chiliax. No. I mean, it's not exactly a capital crime crime in general unless uh breach hill is very against asmodeus we'll see i think we should just i mean you, you didn't see any like i didn't see dead bodies right is what i saw like I, I was like it was just clean efficient but nothing down there with criminal activity i guess granted there was the upstairs i didn't get a chance to go into because there was a woman walking around and there seemed to be another room right in the front that definitely I couldn't even... I would probably have to ask Kesrod if he can make me invisible for that one. But at this point, he seems clean. And he just kind of like shrugs like he's not sure. Like, we'll pass the information on to head council. Um, I think that was immensely fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was over here, and you, you quite got under the skin, and I did enjoy that. Uh, that man is a little bit uh, aggravating to deal with. I hope I never have to exchange words with him again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I might just punch him in the middle of his smug little face. <laughs> yeah, but he, um, yeah, he, he, it's like he's not like shaken by it, but he's just like looking. He's like, so like all these like little secrets now around town is just kind of like, especially what the he did say. He was like that he has business mm -hmm. possible shady business but if the shady business is just asmodeus worship mm. yeah i mean can he we... doesn't care as much about that like if there was bodies down there that's definitely like whoa yeah uh can, do we can we go to greta gardenia yeah if you want yeah it's late but but yeah. the problem is, right, is that uh breaking in mm. oh i don't give a shit we're heroes <laughs> <laughs> right so it's like what time is there right now it's like 10 o'clock yeah nice. yeah i was gonna say it's, it's it's like it's like 10 10 30 probably I'll I'm leave you to do talking in this in case. <laughs> He's just gonna like kind of sit back. <laughs> so we walk in. So that's a weak, weak you. knock there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he, has uh, a, he has a horse hoof for a hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> <laughs> the coconuts. The, the nay at the nay at the moon. Yep. Um, <laughs> Where horse? Where horse? <laughs> <laughs> And I just want to run in the fields. <laughs> Any grass. Get some hope. Uh, so uh, you knock. Greta is <laughs> very tired. And she comes. She's wearing her nightgown. Uh, she looks haggard. She's like, well, what? Forgive this late trespass, but we have some things we need to let you know. She looks at a sundial, sundial on her wrist. <laughs> it's like 10.30 at night. What are you doing here? Uh, just relaying important information to the council. Okay, is, what's going on in Breach and in, in uh, Hell Night Hill now? I relay everything Elk found. Also, the suspicions of the uh, other council member, the guy, the dwarf guy. Oh yeah. And also remind her that we just uncovered another magical plot that was unknown to the council. 
Yeah, because he did say that he wasn't sure if there was magic stuff going around on him. Right. But, I mean, there's nothing I could prove because I don't have any magic crafting right. or anything. Uh, so she's like, hold on. Uh, you're telling me that he worships devils or demons or something in his basement? It would seem that way. I, uh, to be honest, I don't know if there's some weird law against it, but until he murders someone and sacrifices them to yeah. some fiend, I, I, I don't think that there's anything we can quite do. Uh, and, and if he, if there's some sort of deal he's making that's clearly beyond literally this plane of existence, I, 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 I don't know. But perhaps it, it, there's. Some sort of requis requisition you can do. The, I, again, again, he's not doing anything illegal, correct? He, he, there's nothing... Nothing we know of. But if he is using... I would have to consult my lawyer. And when he's good, let me know, Let me tell you. G uh, Gene pops in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gene. Uh, <laughs> if he is using magic from these devils, making deals to artificially increase business, um, that could hold some form of crime for Breach Hill. He's essentially shafting everyone else and getting himself ahead. Ah, uh, you see here, at the very Greta. Least, at the very least, you could be taxing him more. Well, you see here, Greta. Uh, <laughs> if he is uh, uh, using uh, divine magic in, or in order to gain uh, uh, and, and, and a foothold in this, he's not doing it fairly. Uh, therefore, what I say is that if we cannot prosecute him or get charges on him within Breach Hill, I'm sure that Elidia or Eisger themselves, the feds, <laughs> would have something to say about it. And Greta's like, ah. He's literally my favorite part of this party. <laughs> <laughs> I, just like he, I just like how he's hanging along with you at 10 o'clock at night, yep. spying, breaking and entering on uh, random shops. <laughs> yep. So she's just like, fine. It's commitment. Uh, yeah. uh, fine. It, it, Get up a, a, a dossier or the, 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 get a lawyer. You have a lawyer. <laughs> get something written up. Uh, we, will, uh, we will give him a subpoena and uh, see what we can do. I don't know if I don't know of any laws within Breach Hill that go against this. Uh, the, the, you are free to worship whoever you want. Uh, if something can't be done here, the, and Gene pops in, then we'll take it to Elidir. Then you'll take it to Elidir, yes. Now, I would like to get some sleep. Uh, some of us don't worship devils and aren't uh, uh, accosted by devil uh, uh, by devils in our nightmares. Uh, good night. <laughs> Thank you very much. Apologies again. And we go back. I mean, the door's closed, so... Yeah, cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Benson's probably just on charge in there anyway. <laughs> yeah. I smite <laughs> evil on all of you! <laughs> Where are the devils? Let me at them! So you guys head back and... Um, as you kind of make your way back to uh, Citadel Alterine, um, uh, I think Adelar being a little... Like, knowing you guys were going out for errands and then you guys didn't come back, like, you know, within a couple hours, he, he set an alarm spell to alert him when people came back. <laughs> and it, it wasn't like a... You can Is that choose, like a reflex save? The, <laughs> no, 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 no. You just Boom. trigger it. Um, you can choose what kind of sound it makes. So I made just an, a mental sound in my head as like a... Rutabaga, Rutabaga, Rutabaga. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's like, so he wakes up and he's like, oh. He looks, to, you know, to see who it is. And he sees it's you two. Oh, I'm, I'm glad to see you all are back. I, I was a bit worried when you, you all said you were going for errands, and I expected you back in a couple hours, and it was a long time coming. Everything go, go okay in town? I think things went about as well as I could. <laughs> yes. All as they could could. Yes. No, it, it, like, uh, I'm trying to remember the guy's name. Like, it's like I keep wanting to say Ponderosa. I know it's not Ponderosa. <laughs> Posandi. Posandi. He's like, D just do the, do Bill the Ponderosa. Posandi. <laughs> and I was thinking of Ponderosa so much. And I'm like, ah, damn it, always sunny. You keep popping up. <laughs> um, oh, I, as we said, more Frank Reynolds would just increase the show. <laughs> Frank Reynolds Gosh. is the head goblin. Know, <laughs> yeah, and he says, Ponderosa. Pond Pond Posandi. 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 <laughs> yes, he's like, and he just kind of glances. He's like, Posandi worships uh, worships Osmodius, it looks like. Wait, uh, did you have a conversation with him? Yes. 
<laughs> just shoot the shit. He talked about it. <laughs> it's like, yes. Uh, he gave me a pamphlet. <laughs> he, gave me, he gave him a pamphlet. He scared him. Uh, he goes, no, uh, we were going under a lead of something going on uh, about a possible unfair business transactions between the pun- Punjazi. Punjazi. Uh and the, if I can remember, ever these people. Uh, Iron Tusk, right? No, not Iron Tusk. <laughs> that is not this podcast. Uh, that is a, a Tusk Head Stone Work. Tusk Head 36. Between Pandrasi and uh, Stone Tusk. Stone Tusk Work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I like it. Names are really hard for me. Right? Um, but he is. Yes. Uh, he. Hold on. <coughs> All right. Pepper. Sorry. Uh, he goes. Yes, between Pandrasi and uh, Stone Tusk. The Stone Tusk dwarf, he mentioned there was, like, I don't know if you saw the confrontation. I think you were right there between oh, yes. the two of them. Yes, but I... he mentioned something about some sort of possible sorcery, or he had, um, what was it? Some unfair S- advantage or some something of that Similar sort. to that, but it, the unfortunate thing is that we have no proof. So I snuck into the building. Uh, I mean, nothing was locked, so technically I was allowed in. Um, and he, and I found an entire shrine to Osmodius. Oh, so, oh, oh, oh my God. Don't worry. Oh, God's be- they, they don't know I was there. Wait. And I also oh, ordered gosh. roughly 500 gold worth of statuary <laughs> that I didn't actually put in for an order. Benson, I... Oh my I expect this from Elko, oh. but not you, Benson. Are you... T- oh G- G- Gene is also like, uh, no, that's not how uh, open doors work. Second... T- look, just give me your whole alibi, whatever. <laughs> so, so you're telling me you broke into a merchant's shop at night? He didn't know. Oh, it, it doesn't... <laughs> Elko... <laughs> El- <laughs> That was the best comeback to that ever. He didn't know. <laughs> I mean, he didn't. I, I, I'm Benson, I'm shocked that you allowed this to happen. As a former city guard, you know well enough. He told me to. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> you well, said you saw what I did to Kazra. I would do that to you too if you don't break into this guy's house. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> kidding. He didn't say that. <laughs> <sighs> Well, it doesn't matter if he saw it or not, Elkwood. Abadar keeps watch on all dealings and seeks to punish the unlawful. I am, I'm, uh, I don't have any moral authority over you, but the law is the law, and you have broken it tonight. Ah, oh, goodness, I don't. Uh, oh, I, I just. He passes you a gold uh, Just, th- just don't worry. That about is it. bribery. <laughs> <laughs> Not, you're not helping your kid. <laughs> Gene's like, just, just stop. Just, just plead the fifth, please. For the last time, plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I don't Listen. know what to do with all this information, but all I know is, it's from what you have said, this this person has done no wrong, but you have, Elkwood. If we wanted to investigate him, we should have gone through the proper channels. There are councils that can issue subpoenas to us for us to have a reason to investigate. If there was an issue, we should have done it democratically i mean what are we some sort of uh, uh, some hired mercenaries no we have i think we have more morals than that <laughs> he asked me to investigate possible evil i did well just points <laughs> investigate possible evil evil or not going off of the hearsay of a competitor is not cause enough <laughs> you should know that benson of all people City guard, you've studied the laws. I was a city guard for like two months. Oh right, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even finish training. <laughs> yeah, we makes a makes a note to himself. Investigate how much training city guard need before becoming <laughs> <laughs> uh, fresh out of prison. Are you? Well, here's your sword. Uh, try not to hurt anybody. <laughs> but but uh, only if you need to. Uh, only if you feel like it. I I, I don't know. No, I'll swing this right. <laughs> I just, oh my gosh, uh, what, uh, what to do, what to do? Well, look what I am. Um, I, I must, I must search Breach Hill Law and find out what is to become of you. I, I cannot, in good conscience, not turn you in. I mean, you broke into a shop. 
He's just going to walk away. He <laughs> <laughs> doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Whatever, douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a buzzkill. <laughs> I had a great day. Uh, it was fun. <laughs> he, he was having a grand old time doing that. <laughs> and uh, did you tell anyone about this? You. Uh, all right. I suppose. Oh, I did, did mention it to Greta. And she didn't give a shit. She didn't really care. <laughs> oh. Uh, what I... kind of heroes around here? <laughs> yeah. Still, that does not make us above the law. But I guess I don't Wait, what? know. <laughs> Bree Chill's law. Maybe there isn't anything I'm breaking and entering. I, I just... That's so confusing. I mean, you didn't notice it. About it. He didn't know. <laughs> just didn't I know. didn't actually say that's better, but it's just so <laughs> funny. <laughs> <sighs> well, uh, oh, I must I must pray on this. I do not know where, what to do. <laughs> so, <sighs> you guys go off into the night. Oh my is gosh. my hot uh, tub done? <laughs> no, that is uh, quite oh, literally the last of the list. Oh. <laughs> Shocks. Uh, so yeah, you guys bed down for the night. Uh, Adelar prays for a few hours over the nothing. legal documentation. Honestly, no. Oh, no, no. So I'm going to prepare a spell <laughs> for the next day. It's a level three spell. Augury? No, it's called oh. Show the Way. So your affected allies gain pre preternatural knowledge of the path ahead. So, I, I think it's oh, it's mostly for like travel and exp- uh, no, it's mostly for travel and exploration. Yeah, you're trying to watch. I thought me? I was thought I was trying to get get like guidance on like what to do next. Oh, uh, okay. Ah, uh, man, all these are about like traveling. Yeah. I mean, I guess augury would probably be my best. Yeah. Uh, my best bet. So yeah, I'll, I'll prepare. Also, is one of your domains? Didn't you take the? Yeah. Oh no, you took Earth. That's what it was. Okay. No, no, I took a uh, travel and uh, wealth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, so you guys wake up the next morning? Yes. So in my prayers, uh-huh. uh, I'm going to ask gonna ask Abadar about um, good old good old Elkwood and breaking and entering. Um, He's like, I don't know, he seems like a pretty chill guy. It's like, should I, should I turn him in? Um, <laughs> should we just raise the issue to the council? This is how it happens. All right. I already raised the issue to the council. Yeah. I already raised the but, issue to the like council. But, like, in a more, like, uh, formal way instead of just kind of offhand in the night. So, it says the GM rolls a secret DC6 flat check. On a failure, the result is always nothing. Um, if it succeeds, I can get a wheel. The results are good. Whoa, the results are bad. Mix of good and bad or nothing. So you commune with Avatar first thing in the morning. Avatar, I, uh, it seems I have gathered myself around a motley crew, uh, an untrained town guard who <laughs> considers himself judge and jury. An executioner. <laughs> oh. A, um, Mostly some sort of... Some sort of thief, I think. I don't know. Uh, I just uh, found out he broke and entered without due process, and I, I just wonder what what should I do about him? Should I just let this slide? Uh, should should he be turned into the guard? I, I just I don't know what to do. Uh, I ask for your guidance. So you're asking if we should turn in your party member, these two guys. So out of the four options. You get whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what does that mean? The results will be bad. If I turn him in. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh. So, so Adelar feels like, like the I like when he just thinks about the idea of like turning you both in, he just gets this very bad premonition of that course of action and. He just kind of sighs deeply. <sighs> well, uh, Avatar, you, you know best. I, uh, I guess we can let this slide. Uh, but <laughs> uh, just the book of numbers is very clear on, on the proper procedures for these things. Perhaps I'll start drafting something to bring up to the council in a more formal way. But 
I'm glad no harm was done, but ugh, what a headache. You really need to chill out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Elf, Elf's just on bringing out a book. You need the book of joy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever read that book? It'll make you feel uh, better. So, after the uh, everyone wakes up in the morning, um, uh, uh, Tuskid gets back to doing your... Uh, 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 back to doing the work that you paid for on mm -hmm. Citadel, on the Citadel Alterine. Um, you guys want to try again with the archway? Oh, do it. Right. Want to try to aid me? <sighs> I did all so well with the stealth. Come on. All right. So can we aid each other, or? Because I have craft alchemy too, but it's not as good as my thievery. Just I aid me with thievery, I guess. Okay. 24, so that's a plus one. Plus, plus one. Two. Plus one. So, uh, 25. You string the arrowhead along the archway, and you feel it sort of guiding your hand itself as you go across, and you finally come down to the floor, and you drag it across the bottom of the archway and you pull back and you feel like a sense of relief as if the arrowhead is lighter yay because you succeeded yes oh, like, oh, 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 oh. what's the DC 25 24 whoa <laughs> with your aid and the potion I got a 25 that's so. awesome <laughs> I would have failed normally <laughs> that, that is good because it's like I, I think I got it I think I, I, I don't have to do that can I, like, touch it? Or, like, try to open it? Uh, just so you guys know, Abadar is, uh, he's scribing, so if you want to wait for him to get back, it'd be uh, nice. Aladar? Dang it. A Adalar. <laughs> God, you are so self-important. <laughs> <laughs> Abadar himself. Now, Abadar probably is scribing. Yeah. That's not... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> he's scribing with a crossbow, like, on his... Yeah. Just, like, every shot you see him, he has a crossbow uh, as well. Uh... So you guys have active, or you guys have repaired the hunter gate. Ooh! You want to try to activate it? I do. Please wait for me to get back. <laughs> Let's activate Where, it now. Where's that alarm? God damn it! <laughs> He's working. <laughs> yeah, he comes back like right on time, five o'clock on the dot. <laughs> I noticed he was in a shitty mood. What'd you guys do to him? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. I was investigating a possible issue in town. Hmm. Did, you, did you find anything? Oh, there's possible a possible shrine, Asmodeus. <laughs> yes, underneath that, uh, you know that one angry uh, stone worker on the other side that's competing with our guy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a Asmodeus shrine underneath. Oh. Oh, cool. I know, right? <laughs> Sick. <laughs> got this fucking metal. <laughs> and Adler got a little bent out of shape that I broke in. We should have hired that guy. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, sounds like he's got more character than these stiffy dwarves. He's <laughs> kind of dick, though. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of a dick, so. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> my, my people. Anyway. What? Where, where's the laddie? I don't know. He's probably writing his books again. Where's the laddie? <laughs> <laughs> where's the uh, Yeah, I guess we just wait around for him. Stop abusing Adderall, Kezra. <laughs> 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 what time? What time? Is it? Like at this point, like Elk just leaves for a bit. Hunts goes to hunt boar, brings it back, just starts <laughs> cooking it. Just nice. Get a feast going. Lots of delicious bacon and pork chops. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can use it right now. Uh. All right, so Adler, you hear that it worked? Oh, that's in that's incredible! Good work, Ezra. Yep. I know, I'm I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to tell you guys this. Yeah, <laughs> Rorschach is he's not going to make a hundred gold pieces, and he's like, <laughs> saved us a hundred gold. <laughs> well, he didn't do the regulations, and you ought to be doing ah, oh. <laughs> trying to rip us off. Uh, well, we need a license for that. So Kezard wants to try to activate it. All right. So simply touching the hunter's arrowhead to the portal causes it to activate. Ooh. So you literally just go up and just ping, and you see and you see it start to light up. So remember how inside of the archway is just a flat stone surface. Mm. It right. it looks it, it looks just like shoon like a like with a laser. Uh, 
The stone within the arch turns into a churning curtain of gold and silver mist. At which point, any of you can walk on through. I'm sure Rinaldi just dives through it. Head first. (laughs) Just head first goes... Oh, no, I'm not walking in there without you all. Oh. Well, we're not going through right now. (laughs) I'm not sure we're ready yet, aren't we? I mean, I'm I'm, I'm feeling ready. I could uh, cast some uh, some protection. You you and I go first. What about all the dwarves that are currently in our home right now? (laughs) Just just turn the do not disturb sign on the the front of the Alcetus ring. (laughs) <laughs> Neon sign, just plug it in. Yeah. <laughs> Busy. <laughs> yeah, and I also like to say that, um, before, I mean, like it, it's kind of like retroactive, but like telling Warble about it, so she like come down too every so. Oh, often. I yeah. When, yeah, when you guys cleared it out, she she had already been down here, and yeah, yeah, she she she, she, she had already mar- marveled at it all. Well, should I be guess. a goblin. I thought it was a goblin. <laughs> 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 Screw this. And she throws off the. Um. All right, I suppose we're ready to go. And before I take out one of the potions I bought and hand it to Elkwood. Oh, takes it. Uh, was it the Cure Lesser? Cure Lesser. Ooh. There are 12 gold pieces. Uh, and they're not like candy. If, Pep, Pep, if Pippin's are for there, because we're like, go tell those dwarves that we're busy and to not disturb us. And we'll be back soon. Yes, look at her. And then they leave. No one go downstairs. <laughs> They're doing important business. Guard the doors. <laughs> we'll kill you. Wait, yes. did we ever? Did we ever talk to Pippin, sir? I, I don't think you did. Uh, I, mean, we I, have, I mean, it's been like two days. weeks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> when you say talk, you mean beat, apparently. <laughs> With Kesra just beating the crap out of him. We've, we've given. We we came into an agreement where we pay them like. Two silver pieces. Two silver pieces a week. Mm-hmm. That's good. What are they don't buy anyway, right? Yeah, like... So, yeah, I'm sure, like, Adelar and Kezra are like, um, oh, Pip's off, uh, we need to speak with you. This is probably around the time we first got yeah. back. So we're, we, 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 we get a room and, room and board and some silver. Yeah. Let's yeah. get to the gate. <laughs> <laughs> I want to roleplay Pip inside. <laughs> yeah, no, but we're interrupting something big here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities, Tim. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, no, he's like, no, let, let me uh, fill out that subpoena form. And, uh... <laughs> you guys stand in front of the activated hunter gate. You hear an ice cream truck <laughs> <laughs> creeping oh, God. on the other side. It's Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah see you. <laughs> So you guys are standing there in front of the portal. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Elk would do one last thing before, I guess, entering. Uh, okay. Uh, he has a letter written, and he's going to run it up to the dwarf okay. in charge. And he's like, when you head back to... Or well, if you have a chance, and he's just going to slip him also a gold piece with it. Can you just deliver this for me? Uh... Hey, hey, I can, I, I can, I can do that for you. Uh, what's, what's going on down there? What's uh? Uh, we will. And he, he's not the one to really give a direct answer. He's like, we're working on something. You'll hear back from in a bit. Uh, uh, hey, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll be right upstairs. I, I, I guess I'll tell you when we send it. The send the thing? Yeah. The letter, yeah. Yes. It says, whenever you get a chance. Uh, but I prefer later. And if he takes two gold and, like, okay. expedite it. Uh, hey. And you, you leave. Thank you. So, thank you. And goes back downstairs. So you go downstairs. Oh, how big is that staircase downstairs? I'm just curious. I, I want to say it's like 20, 30 feet or something. Yeah. Okay. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's real. like real dumb. Um, Dude, Calisthenics actually, or just running up and down them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. You got to take a break at some point, one of the landings. Uh, oh. Which one? Who wants to go in first? Are we ready? Ready. Yes. I'm ready as well. Bow my head, say a prayer to him today. Feet don't fail me now. Thank you walk through you walk through 
Um, Elka is going to pick up Skull and walk through. Okay. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like for a moment because he knows this is going to transport him. That he's kind of like there's a moment of like fear kind of rolls through him for a moment. But then he just steps through. Okay. So you all walk through the portal. Except Adelar. He's like, this is nice. I must scribe. <laughs> I, I'm late for work, guys. <laughs> I didn't ask for vacation. <laughs> <laughs> what you walk into oh, no. is burning hot. It <laughs> smashes into your face with an unruly heat. You ever, like, open up the oven when you're cooking something hot? Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. The mists of the magical portal fade, revealing a 20-foot-wide passage stretching off to the distance. The walls of the tunnel seem to be made of hardened lava, long ago scorched and melted. Tiny cracks and fissures line the walls, within which an orange glow flickers, giving the tunnel a soft, fiery illumination. The walls of gold and silver mist from the portal glows from behind, while a similar faint glow beckons about a hundred feet ahead. The air is almost uncomfortably warm and smells of smoke. What? Oh boy. So so it's like we're surrounded by like lava and then a hundred feet in front of us there's another glow that looks similar to the glow behind us? Correct. And it's just a straight hallway. Just a straight hallway. Is it like walls and stuff? Oh yeah. You said the walls were dried lava, right? Yeah, it looks like you're going through a volcanic tunnel. That is cool, but also holy crap. I start walking. Let's move forward. Like how and you said it just feels like a blast oven almost being inside. Yeah. Oh god. Oh my skin's gonna dry out. We move to the other end of the hallway. You begin walking through this hallway. It's hot sort of this heat just sort of like bellows out from like different cracks in the walls and then they immediately seam back together as if the walls themselves are trying to grasp this immense flame when all of a sudden the flame starts spewing around you and coalesce into something horrifying let's go ahead and take a look at your roll 20 Oh. oh no. As a oh, large no. dragon made of fire. And fire alone appears in front of you. Holy shit. And <laughs> roars with flames spewing out of its mouth. Oh boy. Ah. Oh, boy. Nice. Oh, boy. It stands there and begins approaching you. What? Taking steps toward the party. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, oh my god. god. We're Ke- gonna die tonight. And Kezra Gorgeous. Switch sides. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Swing it.